All right, here we have a very dead Z Flip 5. Mm. Don't worry, it's been dead even before I took it apart sound. Uh, so uh, I didn't actually kill the phone for this. Um, so the hinge itself consists of this back plate. That's the part you actually see. It's normally, when you close the phone, you, you all know it, this part here. Um, this yeah, screen rest plate, I'd call it. This is where the screen rests on, in, inside the phone, just like this. Uh, yeah, I don't think you can see it. Um, everything you see here is in the phone twice, because this entire hinge design is point symmetrical. So if I were to flip it around like this, it'd be this part over here, basically the same. The only thing that differs is the color of the spring here. You can see it's a little red, very minor red ink on it. Um, the There's some very funky things going in uh, going on in the hinge um, you can see here the flex cable that connects the screen itself to the motherboard uh, just runs in some kind of U shape through the hinge mm. and now this is like the most important part, obviously. So this part is one of the, or in this case, the left side of the hinge. Um, this thing here slides on top, on top of this part, like this. And when it closes or opens, uh, closes it actually slides up a little as you can see oh as you can see it can slide up and down and it's also doing that in the design itself in the phone itself I want you to look at this part here oh, I can't see it oh, no. okay one is over here and the other one is down here and if I close uh, close the phone, you can see it actually slides up and down. Oh. So you can see it properly. Yeah, now you can see it. Now the gaps are closed. And if I close the phone, it opens. And like the entire hinge recesses down in that direction. You can see now it's flat. And now if I do this, you can see well, it's not easy to capture on the video, but the entire hinge design basically recesses down. So that for example if you'd have Two layers of paper, like here, this is just two layers of paper. And I fold it. You can see that the inner layer of paper actually kind of moves out. There's a small lip. And since the screen itself is fixed on the top and the bottom of the phone, there's only one way um, where it can move so the screen doesn't break, which is down into the hinge. Um, pretty hard to open without the, uh, the top and bottom halves. So the reason why it runs so smoothly or why you can like put it in all those different states is because of those two springs here. This one and this one. As well obviously on the other two sides as well. Um, but I'm just gonna show it here. You can see uh, also pretty hard. There's 
little wave shape between those two parts and if I close it you can see those two metal parts actually rub against each other here you can open it again and you see it's there's no friction and if I close it you can see they rub against each other here and that's actually with a very consider uh, considerable force And this is happening on all those four places, here, 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 and here. And then three times on each, so 12 places where this, basically this uh, friction is applied. And this is in actually enough... Bruh, someone rang, uh, rang the doorbell. Uh, this is actually enough, so um, the phone can keep in a half opened or half closed state like this. Um, another pretty nice thing in here actually, or what I find interesting, when the hinge itself is opened like this, you can see on the other side of the spring there are those two little knobs. Uh -huh. Here, now you can see it better. One is here, one is here. You see there in the top center of those two springs. If I now close the springs, they're now in the uh, bottom center of those two springs. Kind of hard to see in video. Uh, now you can see it better. This also. It is important because you can see on the back plate of the screen that those two small holes, those actually go on top of those two small knobs. And if I now put this in the back plate, you can see it's actually a little above the, the edge of the back plate. Wait, this is bent, so like this. I can see. This is how far it is above. Now if I go ahead and I close the hinge, you can see suddenly it's gone, it's not visible anymore because it the back plate itself recesses even further down. So not only the hinge itself, like the entire mechanism recesses, but also the back plate recesses, giving the display even more room to uh, yeah, even more room to fold and not break. Um, wait. Oh shit! And then there are those parts, those two or four. Well, it's basically the same on all four corners. So those two, you can see here. There's like some circular cutout in here, and the uh, same on the other side, of course. And you can <coughs> see the counterpart of that in here. There's some circular metal part that fits perfectly. And if you put it together like this, it's, it just slides in. And this is the part that uh, connects to the phone, both sides, like this. And then you have those, I call them caps, I have no idea what to call them otherwise. Again, a circular cutout and a counterpart in here. So you can just slide it on and now you have those two screw holes. One screw hole here, one here, and those two screws connect there and there. Then you of course you also have this sliding on. I 
can do it. Now it worked like this. And the same obviously on the other side. Like this. Yeah. So this is like one half of the hinge. That's basically all that's going on. Um, small minor details to point out, you have these small bristles here. They're like very, very, very fine bristles. I'm not too sure as to how much dirt they actually hold out, but I don't care either because this phone is very dead, as I said before. Uh, you have more bristles on these sides here, and you can't see them, but as, uh, as the whole design is point uh, symmetrical, it's of, uh, obviously is on these sides here as well, just below the inch. Mm, maybe you can see it like this, yeah, kinda, down here. But that's basically the entire design. Mm. I think pretty interesting, especially the part that it recesses twice, like some with with some sort of I don't know telescope mechanism or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, that's basically all. Oops. Uh, if you're interested about how far or what the form of the actual display would be in the hinge when it's folded up. Oh. You can see this is the shape the display would be in. And then if you take the screen, put it in here. It actually, it's actually so tight that it act, uh, really presses the screen, the top and bottom halves together. I measured the radius, it's like 2 millimeters from the center to the outside for the small metal fins. As you can see here, there are some very fine metal fins at the part where the display bends. The other parts just have metal plates. But yeah, that's the entire design.